Today on the channel, another Thundercats unboxing and review with the Super 7 Ultimate Edition, Pumaira. Welcome everyone, Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel for another Super 7 Ultimate Edition Thundercats unboxing and review. And today, we've got Pumaira. But for all your Thundercats needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. So Pumaira is here today, our first female figure. Obviously, Chitara should have been the first one. She was delayed, all those kind of fun stuff. Uh, Pumaira will be our first female figure so far in the Thundercats line from Super 7. And we're, of course, going to do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it, and we're going to see where it goes from there. And, of course, we start off with the old shipping container box. Got Pumaira on there, the Thundercats logo. Always recommend hanging on to those, as you guys know by now. So there's that one. Then we get to the regular packaging here. Beautiful Super 7 Ultimate Edition packaging. All uniform sizes with the slip case cover just absolutely fabulous packaging i love it a lot one of these days maybe we'll do a top five year-end packaging uh countdown videos or something but we got thundercats right there got thundercats logo pumira's name with the red down here in the black slip case nothing on the sides then on the back just a straight up thundercats logo ultimate edition on top slide the old case off and we're off to the races and there it is gently off to the side See you later. And then you get Pumaira in all of her glory. She's got her accessories. She's got an extra head. She's got an extra set of hands or two. Got her name right there. Thundercats logo. Familiar background as well. Feels like a light figure because, hey, it's a female figure. It's a smaller figure. It's going to be a little bit lighter for sure. Nothing on the sides of these. Same ultimate there. UPC on the bottom. And then you get to the back of the package. It looks like they got War and Peace for her. There's a lot to talk about with Pumaira. So let's, uh, without further ado, let's get down to it. Let's read the back. Beautiful artwork on that as well, I should say. Pumaira, a super agile climber. Oh, she's ready to climb some rocks. Pumaira is known for outstanding leaping abilities. She is a true asset to the Thundercats because she has a great understanding of medicine and serves as their healer. Okay. While she is skilled in combat, Pumaira tends to first try to solve conflicts without fighting. Instead, she leans towards compassion and working on creating compromise. I don't do that with my kids. My wife does. I say, okay, let me go get my referee shirt. L, Emma, time to throw down. Only one can survive. Only one can walk out of here. And usually that settles things pretty quick. They, they start to tussle a little bit, and then they're just best friends laughing again. I don't know if they've ever gotten a real good fist fight, but I got the ref shirt. I'm ready to go. Uh, so then, uh, however, when combat is necessary, she uses her whip cord, while, which launches pellets and spheres, similarly, similarly to an ancient sling. And everybody loves a good slingshot and just knocking out squirrels off the tree and stuff like that. I used to have a buddy that had one, and he was just dead eye with that thing. He put little rocks in there, and he could knock everything over. Not me. I never was a slingshot guy. But let's get them out of the package here. It's just story time with Kyle. Slingshots, kids taking it on and fighting to the death. Uh, you never know. Everything going on. A mile a minute over here. There it is. Nothing too fun there. Off to the side. See you later. Then we get the plastic prison. The double plastic prison. The old slingshot. And we got the little, like, uh, gosh, I don't know. It almost looks like a ninja star of some kind. Uh, we'll investigate. We'll get that one out. And we get the plastic prison right there as well for old Pumaira, the extra head, the hands, all that fun stuff. So let me get out her, get her out of the package, I should say, and we'll be back talking Super 7 Ultimate Edition, Pumaira. All right, we got Pumaira out of the package, and let's dive into the accessories like we always do. We'll do accessories first, and like I said, uh, kind of a Ninja Star action going on right there with the silver and kind of the red eye in the middle. Uh, very kind of gummy plastic, actually. Usually I expect these things to be a harder plastic. It's a very soft rubber, so very pliable plastic on this one. Uh, so very little interesting, but that's one of her accessory weapons. Then this is her slingshot action going on here. It's got the three kind of balls, a yellow, blue, and red one uh, launched in there. It is all stuck into place. There's no soft goods or anything like that, but it is a cool enough accessory, even if it's a little strange with them just kind of sitting in there. Uh, but that is her slingshot accessory. And then we get this dagger, and once again, I'm sure this was from an episode of the show, uh, it's like Mumra's uh, sword type deal with the kind of the snakes intertwined with a jewel at the top. And I can't remember off the top of my head from this. I mean, it's been a while. Uh, last time I watched the entire Thundercats run was about 
eight years ago, nine years ago, my daughter was three years old or so, and she loved the Thundercats. So we watched it all the time, especially the Spider, the Queen Spider episode, if you remember that one. Boy, if they came out with a Queen Spider figure, man, sign me up all day long. My daughter would love that too. That's that's the only time every once in a while she'll get, hey, let's watch that Queen Spider Thundercats all the way to 11 years old now. We'll pop that one in from time to time. Uh, but very cool accessory. Once again, very soft, pliable plastic here. I'm really shocked. Uh, I don't know. Very strange they would use this kind of thing. I don't hate it necessarily, but this is one of those things I could see maybe down the line. Uh, the plastic degrading a little bit and get a little of that patented jack sticky disease we've talked about at length on the channel. Uh, that might happen to this down the line, so we'll have to stay tuned. We'll have to keep an eye on that in the future. So we got that. Then we get down to these very small female hands for Pumaira. Uh, what do we got? We got two fish. She's ready to throw down at a moment's notice. Two fists right there. And then we get two thumbs up hands. She wants to give the old Hacksaw Jim Duggan thumbs up. We all do from time to time. Or thumbs down. She could do thumbs down too. It doesn't have to always be thumbs up. Uh, we got those two hands. Whoa, as so I'm throwing them around. Losing hands, dropping them off the table. There they are. But we got extra hands with Pumira. Now we got to get down to the Pumira figure. Like I said, this is the first female figure we've received so far. Should have got Shitara first. She's been delayed and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, hopefully we'll have her by the end of summer. Best bet is just leaving uh, the facility right now. But looking at Pumira, the first thing I see is the long giraffe net going on here. It, it almost reminds me, and I forget, we talked about that in another figure one time. I can't remember off the top of my head it was. Uh, but it reminds me in uh, the African tribes that have those plates that make their neck, you know, raise. It almost looks like that. You got the gold neck kind of collar around there, really giving her a giraffe neck. It really looks like her head stands way higher than it really should. Uh, so that is strange. That's the first thing I notice when I look at this figure. And then a very dead look in this head sculpt. I'm not a big fan of this head sculpt. Haven't even looked at the other one yet, so we'll see what we think. But this is very just dead, plain Jane. Zero emotion, flat face on this one. Just a little bit of life would have been a, a lot for this head. Would have really added to this one. So I'm not a fan of this head sculpt at all. Uh, she does have a nice skunk hairdo. Really does look like the cartoon with the white tips on the end all the way through. A little bit of uneven painting, but it, it looks fine. It's not going to take away from the figure. She does have the uh, Linkso type ears, and I always think of her with Bengali and Linkso. That was kind of the second Thundercats team that came aboard. Uh, so I always, I'll probably display those three together when I do get them on display. Uh, getting down to the arms, we got the same articulation, uh, good shoulder articulation here. You do get a bicep swivel. You do get the single jointed elbows, pinless joints though, as we know on the Super 7 Ultimates, which I am a big, big fan of. Uh, you got kind of the magical, mystical hands, we always call them going on here. Good looking hands, not sure which ones I'll have her use. Uh, but those do look good. She does have a bicep uh, cuff link right here on the left arm to set it a little separate. And then she's got the red little shoulder thing for her dress. It's one of those side dresses going on. Uh, then she's got kind of that slingshot thing on the side as well. So she's got that rope here. Uh, looks just like this. I guess that's maybe two different incarnations of it. Uh, but you got that same kind of thing. I'm not sure what these are supposed to be. It almost looks like like tails of a cat or something, but that wouldn't make any sense. She does have a pouch on the side. It does not open. It is not removable. She does have that. A nice dress. Would have been kind of cool to get a soft goods dress, maybe some soft good material, but plastic's okay as well. Uh, she does have no, no thigh cut, but a lot of articulation, as we know, uh, at the hips on these guys. Get big, uh, big splits going on. A lot going on there. Single jointed knees, pinless joints, of course. And then the ankle articulation up, down, side to side. Good ankle articulation there. But a very light figure in hand. Very, very light. Now we've got to look at this other head sculpt here. Holy cow, this looks like my girlfriend in college when she used to get mad at me, which is very rare. Who could ever be mad at old Kyle? Uh, but she does kind of have that look. My girlfriend used to give me this look back in the day. So she's got a little of that. You take off the little sideburn, uh, the Wolverine sideburns on her and take away that white stripe. It almost looks like my girlfriend from college. Very strange. Very strange times. Uh, but a little more life to this head. This head is actually better. So I'm going to end up using this one instead. Uh, same white, same uh, sculpt, everything else. Just the face features are different. I really do like this one a lot better. It gives a little bit more personality to Pumaira. I will get her right next to Linkso, of course. Put Linkso over here. Really like this Linkso figure. A uh, really good one, of course. And Pumaira fits perfectly on a ringside stand for those keeping track at home. And she'll stand right next to Linkso. We just need Bengali, and he's coming. Hopefully, the gosh, when's he going to come? It'll be early next year, probably. It's usually a year out, if not longer. So probably first of next year, right at the beginning of the year is when we'll get Bengali finish off kind of that second wave of Thundercats team. 
Uh, but as far as Thundercats go, this Pootmire is okay. It's not the best one. And going into this, I didn't think it was the best one because I didn't have the affection. Uh, affection? I didn't have the love for the character that I had for the, you know, Lionos, the Bengalis, the Tigras, the Panthros. Uh, I just didn't have that for her. Chitara, that was the one I grew up on. That was the one we liked more. But Pumaira, respectable second in command a little bit. Kind of kind of like a Scarlet Lady J type thing, and related to G.I. Joe maybe. But it's okay. It feels good in hand. A few issues, but I didn't have any quality control issues really on paint or falling apart or anything like that. So it was a really good figure at the end of the day. And if you're completing the Thundercats line, you got to have this one. So uh, rush out and get her right away if you're so inclined, I guess. So there it is. There's Pooh Myra Super 7 Ultimate Edition Thundercats. What are your thoughts on this? You picking her up? You passing? You playing a little of that long game? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, while you're here, make sure you thumbs up the video. Give the old thumbs up like. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell. Follow along on Patreon where you can get this video much, much earlier than the traditional YouTube. Plus other uh, videos, giveaways, bonus videos. A lot going on over there at the Patreon. So check it out. And best of all, you get to support the channel. And then, of course, you can follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter. Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson and ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for Super 7 Ultimate Edition, Pumaira, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.